Kuranga Homa. It's been a long time since we've posted a video on the channel and what we're going to be looking at today is some insects in my garden. Now specifically an insect that I've never seen before um, and I think you'll find it quite interesting because you're probably familiar with its adult form. So we're going to look at that in a second. So if um, you're into insects and particularly things that live on swan plants, this might be the video for you. So stick around and I'll see you in the video. So, a lot of people are familiar with swan plants, particularly at this time of year, because this is when you see a lot of the monarch butterflies flying onto your swan plant and laying their eggs. Um, and you should also probably see that a lot of the monarch caterpillars. Um, and you can see my plant in my backyard here is really, really large, but uh, this is not a very conducive plant for monarch butterflies. And the reason that is, is there's a large infestation of aphids and other insects which frequent these plants as well. And when we think of swan plants, we traditionally think of them as being just for monarchs. But uh, a, lot of lo a lot of other bugs like living on swan plants as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at some of them right now. So on my swan plant, the main bug is the aphid. And you can see here, actually just crawling through the shot is the one that we want to really look at. So that insect there that just scurried across the leaf, and if you get a chance, I would pause in the video, go back to him and pause. He's coming toward us actually, cool. Believe it or not, that's the one we're looking for, and that is a baby ladybird. So that's the pupil stage of a ladybug. Now yesterday I saw this bug crawling all over my swan plant and couldn't figure out what it was because it was like a cross between like a caterpillar, but it had the six legs like an like a, a normal insect but it didn't have the thorax and other body parts like a normal insect and I had no clue what it was. So after a little bit of research, I found out that that is the pupil stage of a ladybird, which is pretty cool because I've never seen one before. Now, there are many more on here and there are lots of different kinds of ladybirds as well. But what we're gonna also have a look at is the aphids. I'm just gonna get, get into the light a little bit more. So all these little yellow spots that you can see all over my swan plant are what's called aphids. Now, sometimes you'll see aphids, especially in conjunction with things like ants. Ants love aphids, and aphids are essentially like a cow for an aphid. What they like to do is um, aphids uh, eat the sap and things like that of, of plants and moisture and absorb that into their bodies, and then they can turn that into a sweet uh, fluid that ants and other insects feed on. So it's quite common that um, ants will have large herds of aphids and you'll see like a few ants roaming about protecting their aphids like uh, farmers would protect their cattle. And so one of the reasons why you don't see too many um, caterpillars on my particular swan plant is the fact that this swan plant is just absolutely top to bottom covered in aphids. Now, it's also covered in the ladybird pupae, and if you don't know already, ladybirds are a carnivorous insect. They like to prey on um, other, oh, here's a monarch butterfly just flying, flying in too. Um, they like to prey on other insects. What happens too is um, wasps, particularly clever wasps, know that, um, oh there's a monarch there, there's, that's the one I was looking for, right there. So that's a monarch caterpillar if you've never seen one before. Um, and wasps like to frequent uh, swan plants as well because they feed on the monarch caterpillars. Now a lot of people know that monarch caterpillars taste yuck and that's why they like to eat what's called milkweed or um, swan plants because it makes them taste yuck for birds. Now when they're really really little and they've just hatched out of the egg they haven't absorbed enough of that uh, poisonous milky fluid into their body yet to make them taste disgusting so uh, wasps will fly around and you'll see them stalking all over a swan plant like they'll fly onto the swan plant and then just start kind of walking around the leaves and they'll be either looking for the eggs or looking for newly hatched caterpillars 
and they'll just pick them up and fly away with them and eat them and that's basically what's been happening to my swan plant recently so it's actually really really lucky that this fella here has actually even survived um, so in the background there you can see the monarch butterfly laying her eggs on the swan plant now most of them haven't even made it to maturity on the swan plant as I say they've been eaten by, sw uh, by wasps um, and I've managed to catch a few in the act but um, not today so I hope someone found that interesting I'm going to post this up later um, for the students that go to my school we most of you know that there's a swan plant on my deck at the moment and there's quite a lot of uh, uh, sorry a whole bunch of monarch butterflies came over for a second there. Um, there's a whole bunch of monarch caterpillars um, developing into maturity at the moment so if you haven't seen one before and you really want to have a look come over to my over to the pot plants on my deck and have a look but for now kakite anō i hope you found that interesting and until next time we'll see you on mr ashley's place